All right, hi everyone. Um, look, um, I've this is my third try of this video, um, and please forgive me if I talk quick, cause I kind of don't want this to go over ten minutes, as you know, YouTube limits video length. So I'm just gonna get to the chase. Um, give you some quick tips. And yeah. Anyways, here's our V6 engine. Well, my V6 engine that I made. It has kind of weird timing, but it gives us constant power, which usually means no stalling. And then here is the realistic clutch that I made. As you can see, moves in and out, presses against this disc or er, plate. And then this panel turns this panel, which is accessed on between those two. And then the gear reductions, the reduction gears, turns that. And then this turns this proto. This, um. This is the prototype torque converter that me and Mr. White made. It's just the sideways diff, okay? I'm coming clear. That's just what it is. But we're classifying it as a torque converter because that's pretty much what it does. So, this gear here is advanced ball socketed onto this vert gear on the shaft, which turns this gear, which turns the diff, okay? Which turns these two outer wheels. In case you don't know what a differential does, um, when you turn, that wheel travels faster than that wheel. So what this does, this turns too. So when you turn this gear goes faster than that gear and then these two just creep around with each other then the left gear from the torque converter is bell socket onto the front vert gears which turns the front diff which is the same thing as the rear the torque converter does is it usually doesn't happen but when these two wheel like if these two wheels are slipping and these are just staying still Er <sighs> yeah. When they're slipping, I have a lock on here which can lock this thing so two two sets of wheels will start turning at the same rate. So if these two are slipping at the same time, like take a look at this. Super ice gravity toggle. Okay, no traction. So it's going to slide down to the lowest place. And the front is having trouble. So I'm going to power up the engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I'm going to take off the brakes, engage the clutch. Now, what the f Okay, let's reverse that then. Let's go back to rubber. And we'll make the front super ice. Which usually tends to want to work. The brakes on. Okay, no they aren't. What the hell? Oh, torque converter's probably locked. Oh, maybe not. What the hell? <sighs> oh, brakes are on. What the? Okay, there you go. Now. The front wheels are slipping. Let's say you're in like a muddy terrain. It's not in Gmod, but still. This is exactly like a real car. Okay, I'm gonna talk fast because the video's going by pretty fast. Now, the wheels are slipping, the front ones. So, I locked the torque converter. Oh, and by the way, the basic principle of what this does is so the engine doesn't stall out. 
So, if those two, if one side is slipping, so I lock it and it starts get, getting the rear moving. There you go, and you get moving. This is pretty much just four wheel drive. This is just two wheel drive right now. And this is an all wheel drive system, there's no way to disengage it. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn these back to rubber. Rubber, rubber. Whoa. And I'm not gonna explain this in the video because it took too long apparently, but in case you're wondering how the front diff turns the wheels even though they turn, it's just the, an advanced ball socket setting, okay? So, I'm sh probably sure I'm going to get like 20 PMs asking this, so do so. PM me and ask, and I'll tell you. <sighs> or I could just make a video on it. That's probably what I'll do. Okay, well, anyways, yeah. Crap. Well, the video's probably gone by so far, so I... I'm not gonna... Whoa. I'm not gonna explain what kind of suspensions to do, if not... Uh, I can't remember if I did. But... Yeah, I'm not gonna explain suspension now. Oh, wow. So... Brakes, engine off. And just to be clear, don't make a V6, because they kind of suck. <laughs> I've experienced that throughout every vehicle I've made. Every V6 vehicle I've made, it has failed. Like, I made a train with a V6. Sucked ass. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Got any questions, just PM me, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.